just a brief introduction. I'm a Senior Vice President uh, at Western Digital for Data Center Systems. So I report to Mike Cardano, the president of the company. Um, data Center Systems is the, the business group focused uh, essentially in JBuds, JBOF, storage servers, all the way through uh, systems, appliances, the Tegile, InfiniFash product line, as well as um, our ActiveScale uh, product, which is um, the, uh, the evolution and development of, of the acquisition that HGST made in 2015 on the AmpliData business. So, um, so I'm responsible for uh, that scope of operations in the company, this, the systems and platforms, essentially, side of the, side of the business. Um, a little bit, for those that I've not met before, my background, I, j I joined Western Digital about a year ago, a little over 11 months ago. Uh, before that, I was uh, SVP and general manager at EMC for the Isilon business for a number of years. Um, and before that, I ran the San Inez storage uh, team and business and engineering group at Oracle. And before that, I was the EVP and GM of Ingenio storage at LSI for a number of years. Uh, so um, go back quite a ways uh, in storage running uh, a number of businesses. Um, so a little bit about Western Digital. You guys know the company. One of our strengths, of course, is that uh, we never talk to a customer that hasn't heard the name Western Digital. Uh, but every customer we talk to has a certain uh, predisposed uh, perspective on what Western Digital is, uh, you know, a, a legacy hard disk drive company. And uh, we're rapidly changing that paradigm. And it's a lot of fun doing it because uh, the company, um, of course, has been uh, acquisitive. Western Digital acquiring HGST and then that group acquiring SanDisk. Um, so it's, it's a company that, uh, from a strategic point of view, is is moving, it's accelerating, it's, it's certainly uh, growing very much beyond its legacy hard disk drive roots. SanDisk is a great example of that, but more importantly now for this audience today, uh, we're talking about uh, data center systems. The company's in a very strong uh, position uh, in the market. It's uh, uh, 26 billion in capitalization, uh, 19 billion in fiscal 17 revenue, um, very consistent profitable performance, a well-run company, um, and a very strong cash flow. So. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a company that um, a number of different product lines spanning both uh, you know, everything from consumer all the way through various forms and routes to market in the enterprise space. A very broad storage portfolio as a company. Systems, SSDs, HDDs, uh, embedded removable flash memory, and of course a range of, of more consumer um, commercial oriented devices. Uh, very strong patent portfolio. In fact, Western Digital collectively has one of the most powerful patent portfolios in the market. If you were to stack rank all companies, not just high tech, but, but all companies from the power of their portfolio, companies or, or uh, firms uh, measure the value of a patent portfolio, um, we rate very, very high on that scale in the top five. So um, uh, it's, a, it's just a legacy to the, or a, or a statement on the historical innovation that the company has driven. Um, very vertically integrated business model. This is one thing that you'll also see us emulate with our systems business. But uh, the company is uh, very much wired around um, a vertical integration approach to the products we bring to market. And so, you know, a hard disk drive, we manufacture the aluminum platter, we make the heads, we make the drive, all within our own factories. SSD, we fab the, the transistors, we slice the die, we package the die, we build SSDs, we build consumer products all in our own vertically integrated factories. And so. Uh, the company's kind of natural business model, um, you know, in terms of how we think about building product lines, we, we approach it from a vertical integration perspective. Western Digital, uh, collectively, um, we store roughly half the world's data on our products. Um, you know, I, I think in the introduction it was mentioned, uh, you know, uh, whether it's a video flow from the camera to long-term digital preservation, whether it's what you have in your homes, uh, your digital camera, your, your enterprise um, data centers uh, of all scales, um, we, we store roughly half the world's information um, across our various portfolio of products. That gives us um, great perspective on the market trends. Um, you know, most of, my, most of my history has been in uh, large system branded OEMs, and that certainly gives great visibility into the market and, and certain customer segments and, and go to market. Um, but Western Digital, when I, when, I, when I came to Western Digital, it was clear that this company has a much, much wider lens on the storage market overall and uh, the dynamics of 
the, not only the explosive growth of data, but, but how that's being stored, what architectures that's being stored in, um, and where you know, the, the people contending with exabytes of data storage, what they're thinking about and where they're going. Very broad uh, family of brands. So uh, it was also mentioned up front that Western Digital is kind of a collection of brands, and, and uh, they're important. Um, you'll see more emphasis in, in Western Digital as the, as the corporate identity uh, going forward. Um, but our brands are very important at the product level, at the product line level. So of course, SanDisk, very res recognizable brand. That's certainly not, not going away. WD as well. Uh, in a number of our products, whether it's uh, in the retail consumer space, et cetera. Um, HGST, uh, a very well-recognized enterprise brand uh, in, the, uh, in the hard disk drive arena. Um, G Technology, um, a very popular, well-known brand in the media and entertainment space, whether it's shuttles or, or uh, uh, devices that bring the dailies into the, the mothership, so to speak. Up there was a, an acquisition last year. Uh, in, our, uh, in our client organization uh, from a cloud service point of view. Uh, and then Tejal, which we'll talk about today. We're very, very happy to have Tejal as a part of the family. Um, it's a company that Western Digital had a, and, and all the way back, you know, three, four, five years, a relationship with as an investor, um, as a partner. Uh, so when, you know, the opportunity presented itself, it was a pretty natural thing. Um, as we think about the storage market, you know, and, and where the growth segments are at, uh, we think about um, uh, primary storage, all flash, uh, primary and secondary, uh, hybrid architectures, and then of course large cloud scale unstructured data. So uh, the Tejal product family fits really nicely into the portfolio and complements our object storage product line uh, from a uh, portfolio completeness point of view. And really feels like we feel like we've got both of the growth vectors in uh, the primary growth vectors in the uh, enterprise storage market covered pretty well. Um, so a little bit on our strategy and capabilities. This is sort of a one slide approach to how I would like you to think about what we're trying to accomplish, what we look to as our, our strengths in, in Western digital data center systems. Um, the first, of course, is product. It all starts with product. It's about the product. Um, and as I mentioned, we've got two, we feel very strong product lines. Um, from a primary and secondary storage perspective, uh, we have the Tejal lineup, which you'll hear a lot about today. Unified uh, storage, block file, NVMe, um, all flash and hybrid. This product line gives us uniquely in the market a, a route to market from the transistor uh, of, a, of a NAND chip all the way to the end customer experience. Nobody else can, can say that uh, from, a, from a manufacturer you know, making the transistors all the way to uh, an end customer experience. And we can do some unique things with that. Um, we also have systems and platforms in this space as well. As I mentioned, JBODs, JBOF storage servers. As the industry uh, looks to increasingly adopt software-defined stacks, um, uh, we're positioning our platforms business line around really underpinning a lot of that movement of the industry to um, SDS on uh, commodity off-the-shelf building blocks. And, Certainly, our, our JBOT and JBOPS give customers a great opportunity to buy well-engineered systems that feature our device technology. Um, and then, of course, our cloud scale uh, business. This is uh, active scale. This is the Amplidata technology stack. We've, we've uh, really progressed and matured this technology stack uh, since uh, not only uh, the 2015 acquisition, but if you think about Amplidata, many of you know the product well. Um, we really look at it as kind of leading in that second generation of object storage platforms. Of course, there were early to market products like Atmos and others. We, we think you know, the industry pivoted um, uh, around the time that Amplidata was formed. It brought its technology to market. Uh, very, very strong erasure coding technology. Really changes the, the way we think about object storage, the scalability of object storage, the performance of object storage. And, and we continue to pour significant investment into uh, the advancement of, of this product line in, in the business unit. So the second thing is full stack innovation. When I say full stack, I mean really literally from the platter and the transistor all the way to the end customer experience. Um, one of the reasons that I joined Western Digital was I saw the opportunity to innovate uh, beyond just you know, assembling parts. Um, 
And, and we very much look at it that way. We have engineers in our systems organization working side by side with our device teams, our memory technology teams, looking at um, you know, tomorrow's media technology, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's the uh, MAMR hard disk drive and what that means to an external storage system uh, or a QLC NAND. Um, we know what these things look like because we're already engineering them in our, in our engineering labs in the hard disk drive teams, the SSD teams. And we have our systems engineers right there from a software and a hardware point of view, helping and, and strongly influencing, frankly, uh, the evolution of that technology. And so one of the values we see is the ability to bring this, this system or this silicon to the systems approach to uh, a vertical stack integration and innovation. Um, what do we hope to achieve with that? We believe by designing these systems together, we can deliver uh, superior resiliency, superior durability, superior performance, superior longevity to the media itself. We can dynamically manage uh, the media uh, very effectively over its life cycle, <coughs> extending its life cycle um, in, uh, in our system products because we know so much about the media. We engineered it. Um, also reduced admin and operating costs, you know, especially at scale. Um, OPEX is as challenging as CAPEX is. And um, when you can reduce the day-to-day the -day costs of managing a storage system, how easy is it to live with? A lot of that comes into, you know, how are you managing the media? How are you integrated across that? Um, and, and we believe we are making a significant difference in that space as well. Uh, and then full stack engineering optimization. There, there are clearly multiple areas where you can look at a device and understanding how it's built, how it's engineered, what its, what its tunable parameters are, and take advantage of that at, at a system layer when you, you've got the level of visibility we do. The other one is system software, of course. You know, we're, you know, a lot of people think about Western Digital as a hardware company, uh, but we understand from a data center systems point of view, our systems business really just, you know, is driven by software. It's the software stack, scale out, scale up um, uh, products, uh, multi-protocol, tightly integrated with analytics, whether it's, it's big data analytics or real-time analytics, both of these product lines have strong plays in that space. You're going to hear a lot about um, active scale object storage and its application in S3A or HDFS environments. We think it's pretty innovative. We think we lead in that space, and, and you'll hear about that today. The next one is uh, integrated design and test. Um, you know, it, it, it is no doubt. I mean, when you design these things together, you integrate them together, you can reduce your end-to-end -end cost structure of the product. And it's not just because, hey, we make the product and so, you know, we can price it that way. It's really about eliminating uh, redundant value streams. If you think about bringing a device to market, the amount of, of manufacturing, test, and validation, and qualification, and certification, and then the same activities in a customer's uh, shop, you know, these things end-to-end, -end, they really start to stack up. And um, it's, it's more efficient, actually, to think about um, as you manufacture, let's say, a capacity enterprise drive, and you put it in a, in a large scale, you know, petabyte scale object storage system, there are definitely uh, ways that you can optimize that end to end manufacturing, test, validation, shipment process uh, that actually eliminates activity, um, which saves cost. Um, the other thing that we feel like uh, is one of our value <coughs> propositions is supply chain optimization. Every, you know, every segment of our market, um, certainly in the device, memory, storage media side of the market, has, has supply and demand cycles. It's just part of it, right? There's times where uh, there's more supply than demand. There's times where there's more demand than supply. Um, for our systems customers, we can really insulate them from a lot of that because we control the supply chain. Uh, for uh, you know the core components that that uh, make up the bulk of a bill of material of, of a storage appliance. So, uh, for many of our customers, uh, that is a uh, an advantage, right? They they um, they're not subject to the those kinds of dynamics. Um, and then the last one is a couple different things. One is consumption options um, as a vertically integrated um, uh, engineered manufactured, delivered product, we've got a lot of control over how we package and bundle different kinds of consumption models to the market. Pay as you go, whether it's an OPEX or a CAPEX approach, we can be very flexible um, because of our degree of end-to-end -end control of, of the supply chain and the content of the product. Um, and integration services, one of the things we, we won't talk about it at length today, but 
you know, we're, we're built in integration capabilities so that for, uh, for high mix, lower volume opportunities, um, helping customers uh, develop and grow, uh, maybe in a in a in a hyper CTO model, um, we're actually uh, assembling uh, system level products ourselves in our own building. Um, so this is another way of sort of delivering that that end to end experience, vertically integrated experience, uh, into the market around our systems. Here's the portfolio of products. Um, on the platform side, we're, uh, uh, we're uh, as I mentioned, JBODs and JBOS storage servers. Uh, these are going to market under an UltraStar brand. Um, these are, again, primarily pointed at software-defined stacks um, in the industry um, and uh, uh, emerging companies uh, that we partnered with to tailor solutions. Uh, for their software stacks, and with our integration services capability, you know, assembling and testing and delivering that into the market uh, for them. Our uh, our cloud uh, scale uh, system product line, active scale, object storage, geo distributed. You'll hear a lot about that today, and as well the Tegile product line, the IntelliFlash product line, unified block file storage. We're very excited about that and its capabilities and and where we're going with that. Um, both ActiveScale and IntelliFlash are strong investment uh, vectors for the company. Um, uh, Western Digital is not in this, uh, you know, to kind of dip our toe in the water and see if we can evolve a devices company into a uh, into a systems level player. We're very committed to this, um, and uh, our our investment behind these product lines reflects that commitment. Hey Phil, um, yeah. you know, like the hyperscalers and stuff like that. Do you guys supply? I, obviously, you supply a lot of, of storage lot of and other stuff there, yeah. but that's not part of this business, or, or it's it's not primarily the aim of this business, right? Okay. Um, and if and you'll find most of those companies, they're they're largely investing in their own physicality of the system, the rack level architecture. It's primarily a business <clears throat> relationship. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But you know, that's constantly evolving. I think. Um, when, when you have to provision storage at scale, you're always looking for a, a denser, more efficient way of doing it. And right. you know, we're spending R&D to create those solutions. 